Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Views. I am Eric. This is my uh, continued series, little series, short series, uh, featuring the Sofa Baton U2 Universal Remote. And the reason I'm doing these is because this is absolutely my favorite Universal Remote because it is the upgraded version of the U1 and it just, it works great. It's fixed any little issues I had with the U1 and I just love the design, the layout, and it's so easy to use and set up. And speaking of setup, that's what this video is gonna be about. Uh, we're gonna jump over and I'm just gonna show you how you set this remote up initially uh, using your phone and how you, how you add devices to it and uh, that whole process. So let's check that video out. So when you first put the batteries in, it's gonna tell you you need to connect to the Sofa Baton app. That's how you program this thing. And you can see I already have that on my phone. So I'm gonna open that there. And uh, I'm gonna go back. Now you can see I have, that's the X1, and we have U1 and U2, which is what I have. So I'm gonna say already purchased. And it says press and hold those two buttons at the same time. So I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna press and hold these two buttons at the same time. And you can see it says pairing. And then right here, it's saying connect. So I'm gonna hit connect. And it's gonna to connect to uh, the app. You choose your country. And then you start adding devices. And really easy to add devices, you click add. You can choose, I'm gonna choose uh, Apple TV first since I have Apple TV. And you can choose the icon that you want to use. I'm gonna choose that icon. And I'm gonna say Apple TV, done. And then I'm gonna click next. And it's gonna sync the IR code to the remote so that's ready to use. So it already has the IR codes. Now some remotes do have the ability to connect to the Apple TV through Bluetooth. I actually do not like that. The IR codes are much better um, because unlike your Apple remote that came with Apple TV, if you connect to Bluetooth, and this is really true for anything that supports that, like TiVo or anything like that, then it's like your box has to go through a process to connect to the remote each time you want to use that. Whereas with IR, it doesn't have to do that. With IR, it just sends the IR signal and your box receives it and executes it. You don't have to do anything. So I find IR to be much smoother, much faster, and the best way to control any device that supports it. So customize your remote. Now you, know, you can see here, you can customize what all these different buttons do. Now eventually I'll come back because the input button on this remote, I'll change to control my receiver and switch my receiver to the right input for Apple TV. Uh, but right now I don't have that uh, in there, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not, in fact, I'm not gonna customize anything. I'm just gonna leave everything as it is for now, and then I'll customize uh, later. Click done, and there you go. Now once you add something, you see it up here and this and as there's multiple things you just scroll to the one you want to control and as soon as you stop on that you're controlling that so that's how you uh, set things up and uh, it's really easy uh, to do apple tv obviously is right on the front so that was easy if you want to see how to do something uh, that's not right there on the front then uh, let's go over that so you can see that i've added my apple tv my lg tv and my google tv and to control, you see, you just flip to the, you just scroll really quickly to whatever. I'm on that, now I'm controlling Google TV. I'm on that, now I'm controlling Apple TV. I'm on that, now I'm controlling my LG TV. So, really simple. We're gonna add uh, one more device. You saw how to add Apple, and that was right there on the front, so that was easy. Um, but let's look at adding something that's not right here on the front. So, we're gonna add my LG Blu ray player. I don't know why. How that happens, LG, here we go, LGs, because my thumb, I'm trying to look through the camera lens to, to do this, and so sometimes I get the wrong one. So UBK, uh, UBK90, I think that's the model. Ah, that's not what I want to do. Uh, UBK90, yep, UBK90. So go done, search UBK90, 
And look, it found it right away. So I didn't have to search for that. UBK90, it's right there. I can choose my icon. Uh, I'm also gonna rename it to, uh, to uh, I'm just gonna call it um, Blue Ray Player, because that's what it is. And click Done, and click Next. And you can see it had it in its memory since I got the model number right, I didn't have to search for it. If your model number is a little off or something, then you may have to search for it. For example, when I was doing my TV, I was typing in 65CPUA, but the official model number is OLED, 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 and then C60, and then 65CPUA. So it didn't, since it wasn't exact, it didn't come up, but it was in the list that came up, and then I just had to choose it from the list. So. Uh, if it's not 100% sure, it'll give you a list of all the models in the memory and you just find it in the, in the list. But if it finds an exact match, then it just immediately downloads it. And so, yeah, now you can see, now I have the Blu-ray player there. And it's really, really great. Um, again, you can customize any of these keys to be whatever you want them to be, which is awesome. I'm gonna go do that later. Uh, if you click this button here, it allows you to rearrange these. So if you want the Blu-ray player to be up top, then you can move that. You can move it so that they're in the order you want them to be in, which is really great. So uh, now let's look at programming something that uh, you don't have uh, an exact model for. So I'm gonna click uh, Learn from Infrared Devices. And it tells you you have to point the, uh, the remote the cell phone baton remote and the remote you're gonna learn from. And this is just a little tiny remote I have for these LED candles I have. So I'm gonna click next. And then it's telling you to press the key you want to learn. So I'm gonna say this little red key down here. And now it's telling you to hold and press this. So I'm gonna point this at this and press the on button. And it said learning success. That means it learned. So now it does that. And then I'm going to press the green key. And I'm going to make that the off button. So and it said it learned. So now it learned that. So now these two keys are programmed. And then you could program all these keys to do different things, which is what I'm going to do because this is just. For this candles, I just have the two commands and then I have a few other things like that around. So I'm gonna use this remote to be for just various stuff. And then I'll click next. It's gonna ask me what I wanna call this. So I'm gonna call this various. And that's how I'll know that this is just various random things I want to be able to control. You can pick whatever icon you want. Um, I don't really know what I want for this. I'll just pick that and click next and it's done you can customize so you can still select buttons and make them do th other things for other devices if you want that are programmed in here which is great i'm just going to click done and you see now various is there and now you see that it's here and there you go and you can do that on other keys as well so for example i could go to the apple remote apple tv Oh, sorry, I could go to uh, remote keys and I could customize one of these keys. Like I could customize the red key on here and I could say learn from original remote. So I can make the red key on here uh, also control this as well by learning through that. Or I could create a macro, um, but we'll talk about macros later. Th that's how you set up your basic remote control stuff. Uh, to control with the Sofa Baton U2. So when you're connected to the remote, you hit this little three ellipsis buttons here and you can see settings. And this is where you can uh, light up the remote screen when holding up. So if you have that set, it'll automatically, uh, the, if the screen's off and you pick up the remote, it'll automatically turn on. And you can change the brightness of the screen, bright, medium, and low. I leave it on bright. And then you can also set the screen timeout like after there's no input how long do you want it to wait before it times out so you can see it is really really simple and easy to connect this to your phone 
uh, and then start adding devices. And they have so many devices built in, just so simple. If a device isn't built in though, you can easily use the learning, IR learning technique to teach this remote, uh, the signals of any remote you have in your house, which is really awesome. And you can add tons and tons and tons of devices to this remote. It's got a lot of memory. So really easy to set up and it works really great. Uh, absolutely my favorite universal remote and definitely one I recommend. That is going to be it for this video. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any questions for me, just post them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, favorite this playlist, so you can keep up with future product reviews. That is going to be it. Until next time, so be safe and be happy. <laughs>